you guys, there's fire on the mountain. <laughs> Two grown men are fighting over me. Well, because of me. About me. They're sure fighting and I'm in the fight. Others are outside attending to patients and I'm here eating ice cream because why not? Hmm? Why not? Have you ever had ice cream in the middle of a long, terrible day? It does wonders for the mind. Just try it. Who is it? Ah, don't be annoyed though, it is not Lolly. Lollipop, come inside. Ah, doctor. What's up? <laughs> I'm fine. The man you said I should follow outside. He's shouting at himself and he's causing a scene out still. Shouting at himself? Yes, doctor. Explain. He's saying something like, I don't even understand, but I just know he's shouting at himself. What is he saying? Uh, he's saying something like, I am the king of the world. Come and buy your choice for me. I got me. Oh, hey, hey. No, 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 Get one free! I am the king of the world! No! Wait on, sorry sir. I've got to move. No. Just relax. Just calm down, okay? Yeah. What is happening? Yeah. No, no, no. Come on, sir, come down. Wait. Come down, sir. Mr. Jamale, just let us help you, okay? Put this stick down. No! Okay? Let us help you. Put this stick down. No! Put this stick Never. down. Let us help you, Mr. Jamale. Never! Wait, wait, I'll give you what you want. Put it down. You are not on the guest. Give me that pass? Yes, I will give you. I promise. I am the king of the world! Yes, you are the king of the world. Just thank you. We are going to help you, okay? I am the king of the world! Okay, come down. I am the king of the world! Calm down, okay? Yes. Okay, sorry. Ah. Uh, you're the ah. king of the world. I have a kid of the world. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Yes. We'll take care of I have a kid of the world. Okay. Okay. Yes. Dr. Coca, right? Yes, ma'am. I've heard a lot about you. Wow, good things, I hope. Oh. You're one of the bright young daughters. Chooks can't stop praising you. That is surprising. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Keep up the good work. I'll try, ma'am. The patient? Oh, yeah. Um, He came earlier asking for diazepam. Did he say why? No, he was acting suspicious, and then he ran away before I could probe further. OK. We'll keep an eye on him and let you know. OK. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Hmm. I told you I was going to gist you about my last visit to therapy, right? Thank you for attending session today. Happy to be here. Not really, but oh well. How are you? I'm okay. Um, the last time you were here, we talked about your parents' divorce. How's that going? Um, it's not official yet. Okay. Oh, by the way, I called my mom the other day and I almost asked her about it. So why didn't you ask her? Because I feel like Asking her about it will make it more real. So, um, are you hopeful that they're no longer getting a divorce? I'm not sure it's hope. I don't like hope. Okay. Why is that? Well, the greater the hope, the greater the disappointment. Don't you think that not having hope is a very difficult way to live. See, there's no control in hope. I prefer things I have some control over. Like in medicine, if you do X, you achieve Y. Hope is a gamble. Okay. But you know, sometimes in medicine, you do X and don't get Y. You know that, right? I mean, well, yes, but that's not normal. And at least you still have some level of control. My parents' divorce is entirely up to them. I understand that. 
Oh, speaking of everything falling apart, I think I might have HIV and hepatitis C. Okay. How did that happen? Uh, we were doing a routine appendectomy for a HIV and hepatitis C patient. And we, well, Dr. Chooks hit an artery and the blood spattered into my eyes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I was wearing goggles, but some of it still got in. I mean, I don't think that you have HIV. I mean, I know, but I'm still worried. Did you talk to anybody about these worries, these fears? Yeah. Okay. Who did you speak to? Jasmine and wrote to me. And if Jasmine knows, Edo knows. I mean, I was so worried and exhausted that I hugged Rotimi. Okay. Who is Rotimi? Um, he's a fellow house officer and he's asked me out several times. No. <laughs> and? I do not want any romantic relationship right now. I'm not ready for that. I know that. I know how that feels. I, I completely understand. But let's talk about Rotimi. Do you like him? Hello, Dr. Pajamas. Hi, Ruth. How are you? I'm all right. You know, I heard about your psychotic patients. What happened there? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, he came asking for diazepam. He was desperate. Why did he ask you as opposed to any pharmacy? No, he can't get without a prescription. Uh, are you acting like you don't know that people get drugs without prescriptions in Nigeria? Are you serious? Sure. Let's not even get started about antibiotics. Pharmacists and regular people, please stop taking and giving antibiotics without a doctor's prescription, okay? Those things are getting resistant now. Oh, by the way, how's your mom? Well, she's okay. She's fine. So what's the plan? You were talking about PLAB or something in the park. Yeah, 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 PLAB. I still plan to write that before the end of the year, but at the moment, I'm trying to focus on my IELTS. Mm -hmm. PLAB, Professional and Linguistics Assessment Board. The exams people write to be able to practice in the UK. You know, is it means to Jack Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. So how's that going? Well, to be honest, pretty rough, you know? Mm -hmm. With working here and taking care of my mom, I do not have a lot of time for that. But enough about me, how are your parents? Well, um, they're getting divorced. Oh my God, why did I say that? Oh. Ah, uh, well, I'm very sorry about that. Do you mind if I ask what happened? Someone was unfaithful. Please don't ask me, okay? All right, all right, I, I won't. Trust me, I, I understand. But I can't believe I'm actually opening up to this man. Anyway, speaking about IATS, do you have any plans to jack back from this godforsaken country? I'm not sure yet, but everything IATS is already shy, you know? Just to. Just to, like, have a fun. Uh -huh. You know what you can do for me now? Don't say no. Why? You help me with mine. Because I'm having a hard time, I told you. For a fee. For a fee? Why are you the kid? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. Yeah, it's all right. By Thank the you. way, when you leave, who will take care of your mom? Uh, you know what? I've been thinking about that, and, uh... I think I'm going to have to put her in one of those old people's homes. Really? You said that was a horrible thing to it do. It is a horrible thing to do, but I have no choice, you know? I'm her only child and all her siblings are dead. I see. Anyway, before we get to that, I have to work for a while so I can pay two years up front. How are you going to do that? You barely get paid here. I know, I know. But I told you I do a bit of photography and a model as well. Mm, okay. That's nice. Yeah. So, uh, do you have a favorite food? Is this a date? I don't even know what people say, like, ask on dates. Okay. 
you know you're doing that thing again, okay? What thing? I think when you just zone out and talk to someone. My favorite food is jello fries and plantain. Boring, I know. So boring. Wow, really? Very boring. Okay. So what's your favorite food, Mr. Interest? My favorite food is igusi. Igusi with rice, bread, everything. With bread? Uh -huh. Guy. No, no. What's guy? No. Okay, we're well, pause, pause. Can you eat bread with regular stew? Of course. Uh, why not the goosey? It's not the same thing. It is exactly the same thing. No, it's just kind of gross, honestly. But okay. Yeah. Um, do you mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. How are you dealing with the hep C and the HIV scare? Are you okay? You know, I'm not a very optimistic person, so I just try to stay neutral. Okay. I got you, but do not worry about it. I'm sure you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. By the way, what do you want to specialize in? <laughs> I know you laugh, but it's urology. Really? Yeah, it's boring, I know, but... No, no, it's not like it's boring. It's just like I always pegged you for, like, an obs and gyny guy. Oh. Yeah, but what do you mean you pegged me for an obs and gyny guy? I mean, you just have that look. Ah, uh, yeah. what look? I know he wants me to say he's handsome, but I will not. You know, there's just a look that they have. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, to be honest, I find like the urinary tract, I find it quite fascinating. When we were younger, Way before the accident, my mom had kidney stones. And that's when I decided to become a doctor. Okay. Yeah. How about you? What do you want to specialize in? Well, um, I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, that's the whole point of this house of things, so I can like, figure out what I like. I'm not sure. Sorry. Hello, sir. Where are you? I'm in the canteen. Okay, come to my office when you're done. Okay, sir. What's that? Dr. Chooks. <laughs> What's up? He wants me to see him after. Oh, okay. Let's go. So, like, are you gonna eat something? Oh, yeah, my usual one. I've told him. Mmm, I'm gonna bread as well. I'm gonna see bread. Fantastic. Better than bread and stew. Disgusting. Trouble is what? Trouble is a foot. The MD wants me to place you on administrative leave. I argued against it, but he said no. Do you want to go on leave? Hmm. To go or not to go? That is the question. Can I think about it, sir? Okay. You have till the end of today. Okay, thank you, sir. Updates, please. The patient is stable. She has done a psych evaluation. Dr. Sansu said it's too early to conclude dementia, but it seems very likely. She also says she's definitely going through PTSD. Okay. Any news on the family? Uh, nothing yet. Her son is still not picking up. Okay. As per the MD's instructions, she's to remain with us until we can contact or locate her family members. Failing that, we report to the police. Maybe they can help us find them. But until then, she remains our responsibility. Anything else? Um, sir, we haven't spoken about the treatment for the patients. What do you propose? Therapy and meds. Hmm. I mean, the question is, if she can't remember things, will therapy work? Does the potential dementia render the PTSD void? But, sir, since we haven't been able to successfully conclude on dementia, I suggest we treat for PTSD. That way, she remains calm and tries to get some sleep at least. Draw up a prescription and let me see it. Yes, sir. That'll be all. Hmm. Hello, pajamas. 
Yay. What are you doing? What are you working on? Uh, I'm writing the report for Mr. Jamali. What's up? Okay. Um. <clears throat> He's about to ask me out, isn't he? <clears throat> Uh, I was sort of wondering if you are free this weekend. I'm not sure. It depends. Why? Well, if you're free, I'd, I'd want you to go to dinner with me. Where? Okay. Look, uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure where yet, but it will be someplace nice, I promise. Okay. I could do dinner. Great. I promise you, you won't regret it. You'll see. What time? Uh, Saturday at 6 works. I might be on call, Nah, uh, I checked. You are not. Okay, that works. Oh, great. That's, that's great. I know what you're thinking. Roti, me, and PJ sitting on a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G, blah, blah, blah. But if you were listening, he asked me out to dinner. He didn't say, Will you be my girlfriend, PJ? Okay? They're not the same, okay? They are not the same. Awesome. Yeah, uh... Good, good. Uh, so, sh should I... Should I come to your place and we'll go together? No, or... no, no. Once you decide on the place, just tell me. I'll meet you there. All right, um, right, right. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way... Doctor, this way I want to put me on administrative leave. Oh. Uh, why? I'm not sure. I think it's like some hospital protocol for hazards or something. Okay, okay. So are, are you, when are you going? Are you going to go? I'm not sure I'm going. I mean, Dr. Chooks thinks I shouldn't. Oh, flashy that guy. Please, just flashy that guy. I feel like you should do what's best for you, you know? I do need to rest, but I feel like going on leave will set me back. That sounds like something you'd say, but I'd have to ask, like, how? I'm learning. Please, I don't think so. Well, I have the rest of the day to think about it, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. Yeah. Uh, who's there? Chinwe. Oh, come in. Uh, Mrs. Adeniro's son is here. Oh, thank God. That's good news. Why wasn't he picking his calls? He said he was at a meeting all day. He's just coming now. Okay. Thank you, Nurse Chinwe. Thank you. We'll tell Dr. Chooks. Okay. I still have the bowl. That delicious one. You will enjoy it. <laughs> you know, give me two bottles. Why not? Yeah, okay. That's okay. No, I'm fine. No, thank you. Okay. It's chill. Thank you. <laughs> ah, Where have gosh. you guys been? Around? Attending to patients. Attending to patients? Uh -huh. Yep. Which one? Walking around and attending to patients. I see. Yeah, what have you right? guys been doing alone with your lonesome, attractive selves? Hmm. We've been talking. Hey, stop You're being weird. We've been talking. Just stop this now. We've been talking. That's what you guys call it now. We've been talking. We just talk. Jasmine, can you please stop it? Just talking. stop it now. Yeah, sorry, no. Nah. I was just pulling your legs. <laughs> okay, guys, we have to go to Dr. Chooks' office and give him an update concerning Mrs. Adenero. Mm. Oh, please tell Dr. Chooks that Mrs. Adenero's son is around now. <sighs> Finally. Right. Both of you are on call tonight, yes? Yes. All right, that's great. Okay. Enjoy. Okay. I'll see you guys later. All right. Sure. Keep talking. Suppose you need to talk. I think Jasmine is really silly. She's so annoying. Hey, Chewy. Like, what was that? She's really most annoying. Oh, Chewy. Can I have Zobo, please? Huh? How many? Two. Hey, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nurse BJ. Hey.
Hey pajamas. And how are you me? Are you going home or to the hospital flats? Hospital flats. Right, cool, cool. Can I walk you? It's may I, but who cares? Yes, you may. Okay, let's go. So, um, what's uh, 